Paul Ryan talking to ABC 12 in Michigan, and he gets a little uh, antsy about the questions here and decides to end the interview. Let's watch. Does this country have a gun problem? This country has a crime problem. Not a gun problem. It, no, I mean, if you take a look at the gun laws we have, I don't even think President Obama was proposing more gun laws. But the best thing to help prevent violent crime in the inner cities is to bring opportunity in the inner cities, is to help people get out of poverty in the inner cities, is to help teach people good discipline, good character. That is civil society. That's what charities and civic groups and churches do to help one another make sure that they can realize the value in one another. And you can do all that by cutting taxes, by, with a big tax cut. That, those are yours, not mine. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Sorry. That was kind of strange, You're trying to stuff words in people's mouths. Well, I don't know if that's strange. No, but it's, it sounds like you're trying to no, but wait a minute. That is your proposal. Your proposal is a giant, giant tax cut. Now, do you have any other proposal for inner cities that you were talking about? No, you don't. And in fact, you grew up under Jack Kemp. Now, Jack Kemp was actually a good guy in a lot of ways. Uh, you didn't take his ideas in the right direction. But Jack Kemp's idea was, hey, look, if we do empowerment zones, we do tax cuts within the inner cities, that'll lead to all these wonderful things like uh, less crime. So that's a perfectly valid question. When asked about his own proposals, how dare you say that putting words in my mouth? So what is your answer? Obviously tax cuts. <laughs> but wait a minute. Why didn't you just answer the question? That's not a hard question. And he, you notice how annoyed he got in the first set of questions about gun problem. The guy asked it twice. It's a fair question. In fact, we have a giant gun problem in the country. And he's like, what? Gun problem? No, we have a crime problem. Okay, yeah, but some of those crimes are committed by guns. And then, of course, it's my favorite thing when he says, even President Obama hasn't proposed any uh, more restrictive gun laws. I know. Whenever you agree with the Republicans, they will always use it against you. And President Obama thinks he's a genius. You see that? I didn't propose anything on guns. And then, of course, the Republicans turn around and go, see, Obama didn't propose anything on guns. So we must be right about guns. And then, fascinating part in the middle there. Do we have a gun problem? No, we have a crime problem. Now, let me talk to you about inner cities. But wait a minute, if I ask you about a gun problem, the gun problem doesn't happen in the, so of course some of it happens in the inner cities, Chicago, etc. But a lot of the shootings are in Aurora, Colorado, they're in a movie theater, they're outside of a shopping store, they're in an office, they're in a school. <laughs> but he's like, gun problem? No, of course not. Let me talk to you about black folks. Fascinating. Right? Now he didn't say black people, he just said inner cities. Right? We didn't ask you about that. Talk about putting people, words in people's mouth. You put it in your own mouth. And, but to me, the core of that clip is present day politicians. If you go outside the script a little bit, if you toss themselves anything outside of a softball, they get so mad. How dare you disrupt my talking points? How dare you ask me a real question? This interview is over. Just answer the simplest questions in the world. 